Whoa, damn, fucking shit, motherfucker. Okay, um, shirt's all fucked up. This is good. I don't even know where to start. I feel like it's been a fucking month that I made a video. Uh, who's texting me, Citibank, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Okay, so, it's, uh, as per usual, I don't know what the date is. Saturday, August the 29th. Just for my own personal fucking recording reference. 7.24 p.m. So, of course, once again, I've waited too late to make a video without it being, without sunlight being an issue. <laughs> um, okay, so, I don't even know what to fucking say right now. Uh, I'm alive. It's um, humid and augusty and gross and hot and just, mm, um, friend of mine that I was in the Marine Corps with, Jimbo has started a YouTube channel. Congrats, brother, you're doing a great job. Um, he, it's called, this shirt is so fucking mangled and gross, I don't even. Oh, am I still recording? Fuck, I don't even know. Okay, change shirts, I feel better about life already. Okay, so, Jim, um, Jimbo, has his own channel. Beer, wait, is it Blue Collar Beer Review? Obviously, I will put a link directly to his channel in a pinned comment in the comment section. That'll be the easiest way for everyone to see it. Um, he's just, Jimbo is just a, uh, we have a, uh, we, we went through so much shit in the Marine Corps. It was, I have so many stories. I wish I had more daylight to tell them all, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell a few. Okay, so anyhow, in case somebody's wondering, I'm doing fine. Hurricane came through. First one was a dud. Second one mm, gave us some rain and wind, but not too bad. Uh, ooh, what else? You know, whatever, man. It's hot. It's humid. It's summer in southern Louisiana, and summers fucking suck because, like I said, they're hot and humid. Uh, okay, so Jimbo's channel link in the comment section. Um, he's very, very raw and authentic like me. His um, tagline for the channel is one beer, one take. And very simply put, Jimbo is a, is a, is a beer drinking, tattoo getting, Harley Davidson riding, tattoo wearing motherfucker. He's just a regular dude like me. Looks like sitting at his dining room table. Got a nice little backdrop of his house. Looks like there's some, got some um, exposed brick on the inside, which I love. Got some good lighting coming from the, uh, looks like the kitchen there. It's got his, I don't know, Jim, are you using your uh, camera? Are you using a camera or your phone? But it's nice, it's got a good angle. Good angle, uh, so you can see the beer he's drinking. And he uses his hands a lot like me. And we say a lot of the same things. So if you find me entertaining, or humorous or whatever um, you will you will find very similar qualities in Jimbo he is very charismatic um, descriptive you know neither one of us are college educated fellas but we have a way with words <laughs> we want to um, so yeah so he takes a different beer talks about it a little bit <laughs> drinks it and gives us his opinion on how it tastes, how it smells, how it looks, everything. So please go over to Jim's channel and watch his videos. And if you do go, drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Just take 10 seconds to leave a comment and tell him I sent you. It would really, really mean a lot to me if y'all could do that. And then if you enjoy watching him and his beer reviews, then share his channel with whoever you can, wherever you can. Uh, you know, I have a shitload of subscribers, but they're not like real subscribers. They just subscribe to me because of a couple of videos that have like 85 million views or something. I'm exaggerating. Uh, the video that, you know, the one I put up the clip of the movie, you little stupid ass bitch. It's got like 12 million views or something. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Or is it 8 million? I don't know. Whatever. Is it that many? Is it 8 million? 
Fuck, I don't know. I'd have to go look. I don't look at it very often. I get comments on it constantly. But the point is, I, I don't have that many people. <laughs> 39,000 people that subscribe to me are not terribly interested in me, in my content. They just like that video. You follow me? Uh, so, yeah, y'all. So, look, me and Jim were in the Marines together. I was already in 29 Palms, and he transferred over. Fuck, Jim, where were you? I Iwakuni or Okinawa? I think you're Okinawa. You and Steve are in Okinawa, right? Came over. I was already in 29 Palms. Only been there about a year when they showed up. And uh, a bunch of them showed up. It was nice because we need some fucking help. And, uh, yeah, we clicked immediately. Jim's from Detroit. I'm from New Orleans. We're both kind of foul mouth. Um, just tell it like it is kind of guys. Not very gentle or diplomatic with the way we talked. To people we weren't assholes we were just very direct <laughs> is the best way to put it so jim and i ended up being roommates we had two man rooms in 29 palms share uh share the head with the room that you were adjoined to but yeah so we were in the same room and we just man we were we were working out like maniacs we were fucking yoked just full of his head like 20 inch fucking arms um so here's the thing the marine corps has this chart based on your height and it tells you how much you should weigh and if you weigh more than that then they tell you something like you gotta lose some weight fat boy so jim's about 5'8 five i'm 5'5 five five. according to the marine corps chart i was supposed to weigh like 138 pounds and jim was supposed to weigh I don't know, 160 or something. Uh, some ridiculously low number. Like, if we weighed that much, we would look like we just escaped Auschwitz, like, that morning. So, that was extremely fucking stupid. And we were working out like crazy. So, I don't know, I think it was a, was it a captain or a colonel or something? Got us and said, hey man, you two have got to lose some weight. You're so far over the, I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. So, instead of losing the weight, we proceeded to go um, buy dozens of donuts at midnight and gain weight um, because we were not going to be told to lose weight. That was fucking stupid. In case y'all hadn't noticed, cicadas are back and they're the noisiest creatures on earth, period. Uh, wow, I wish I would have started this video earlier, but I didn't, so whatever. It's going to be fat. And I, I always say, Jim, you're doing a good job. Your videos are five minutes or less, which is perfect. Mine are really long. Most people only watch a YouTube video for about three minutes. So, 80% of the people that started watching this video, even if they're interested in me and my content, they've already turned it off. Uh, but I cannot get all of my information into a five minute video. I just can't do it. Maybe I should try. I don't know. But I'm kind of long-winded. I'm very descriptive. It just takes me a while to get, get my videos rolling. <laughs> okay, so we went in a different direction. We decided to not lose weight, but instead gain weight to like send a message to the higher ups that we weren't playing this foolishness. We were not going to become skeletons just because of your little chart. But we knew there was a loophole. We knew that if you just refuse to get down to the weight you're supposed to be, that they would take a body fat composition testing. And if we fell, man, I can't remember. Thank you, Cicada. Can you be just a little louder? A little louder. There you go. Perfect. Okay. We knew that if our body fat percentage so if it had to be below, I think, 16% or maybe 17%, then you get a waiver and you can weigh whatever you want. And we both came in. Now, I was, okay, I'm 5'5", I was like 195, Jim's 5'8", he was like 210, I think. And we both hit like 12% body fat. So anyone out there who understands how body fat works and weight and height, you all know that that is an incredibly difficult number to get to for two guys who were not professional bodybuilders. Professional bodybuilders, for reference, by the time they compete, they're hovering in the 3% body fat, which means you have no fat on your body. It's just muscle and skin, basically, and tendons and ligaments. Um, okay. Okay. I have other news, but there's no way. A, I'm running out of light. B, I'm, I just don't want this to be a three-hour video. But everybody's wondering, I'm fine. Fine. I just I need, I need everyone to know about Jim and his channel. That was the pride. Well... The main reason for this video was proof of life. Let everyone know that I am still alive and I'm fine. I'm not depressed, laying in the fucking closet, crying into a pillow. 
that's not what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'll explain my absence in a video I make tomorrow. <sighs> Going in a different direction with my channel. Um, I'll explain more of that in details when the video I make tomorrow. Um, gonna be more, it's gonna be a lot less of bipolar related stuff because I have to be honest, I don't know that there's much else that I can cover in the bipolar arena other than giving updates on myself. But listen y'all, I have uploaded 900 videos. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not saying a weird number to sound fucking cool. I've uploaded 900 videos in the last five years and a majority of them are mental health or mental, mental illness related. Uh, lately, they haven't been They're just like a, me vlog talking about whatever. I do have some story time videos, which I think everyone enjoys. I have more. Um, I, I have so many great stories with Jim, but I'm losing light, and I just want to get this one out there. So we, I'm jump, I'm all over the place. Y'all already know that. Y'all, that's 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 what you sign up for when you start watching T Money. Um, okay, so we refuse to lose weight, so we go back in for a follow up. And the fucking colonel, whoever, he's like, okay, so you two gained seven pounds each as opposed to losing any weight whatsoever. Clearly, you're not going to take this seriously. So they send us over. We get our body fat, 12%. So we get to waiver. We're fine. So we just continued to eat and work out aggressively <laughs> and um, did our thing, man. God, we had so much fun. I'm going to drop some pictures in the area here that I keep open. That's why I'm off to the side so I can utilize this area for picture in picture and drop in illustrations and what have you. Speaking of drop ins, I'm gonna give y'all a little taste of Jimbo right. Good evening peeps. What's going on? You know what time it is? Blue collar beer review. Your old buddy Jimbo back at it again. Even though the hurricane is bearing down upon us. Everything's gonna be okay. We're towing the company line and reviewing a beer today as per usual. Nothing stops the machine. You understand? I do it all for you, no matter what. So, here we go. One beer, one take, banging it out. We got a uh, burial beer company. This is called uh, Surf Wax. It's made out of, it's made in Asheville, North Carolina. I think this is a 6.8, 6.8 alcohol by volume. It's a beautiful can. It's got like this nighttime scene on it. And then it's got this daytime scene on it with this monster eating stuff. It's, you know, so the art's pretty cool. But I don't really care about that. I care about what's inside the art. So let's do it. Oh yeah, it's got a little fuzz to it up there. You know, I like a little fuzz, just a little bit of fuzz up on the top of my can. It's always, it's always a good sign. All right, we're back. Was that awesome? Yeah, Jim's cool. Okay, so I'm fine. Started this video too late, as per usual, and. Fucking Nelson's here. He's good. I got the walrus, penguins, the whole thing. You know, the 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 only official government polar bear warning sign on planet Earth because I went to the one location that has that as an official sign. Uh, because you know I'm that kind of guy. Other things are going on that I really don't want to get into right this second. Um, mm, truck related. Y'all that know me in real life know what I'm talking about, so I'm not gonna sit here and turn it into a mm, look at my truck video I'm not doing that um, but yeah so look at everybody go over sorry this was a fucking just all over the place mess but I'm, I'm I pressed for time and I just want to get y'all over to Jim's channel and watch his content um, yeah he's not editing or just filming him talking about the beer drinking it giving his view bam and he's out very very direct which everyone will love so Jim you're doing a great job I love all your content I've watched all of your videos uh, I, you know you already know man if you have any questions about editing and shit um, lay it on me because I've become 
Come on, Nelson. Stand tall, son. I know it's been a while, but don't come out here falling over like you're half drunk. The fuck, dude? Um, but yeah, man. Uh, and monetization, look, I don't know if that's something you're interested in. Uh, I will never get monetized on a large scale because I curse too much and I use music that isn't mine. But I don't care because I'm not using this for a revenue stream. I just do it for fun. But it is fun. I can tell you're liking it because you're uploading a new video almost every day. Um, man, you start... Yeah, it's fun. It is. It's, it's, it's a fun little avenue for those of us who enjoy creating content. That's your title now. You're a content creator. So... I prefer that term over YouTuber. YouTuber sounds mm, a little lame. Seriously, I got no light left. So, everybody go watch Jim. Leave a comment. Tell him I sent you. And if you have something mean to say, just don't say it. Keep it to yourself. Just shut your fucking suck hole and go watch somebody else. That's it. It's not that complicated. For me, however, uh, channel's going in a different direction. I will explain that tomorrow. And yes, I said tomorrow. It's not going to be three weeks. That is part of my change. I will be back tomorrow. Until then, everybody have a great what is left of your fucking dark, cloudy, summer, humid Saturday night. Whatever is left of it, I hope it's fucking awesome. And be nice to somebody. Do something nice. Open a door. Help somebody put their groceries on. Do something. Do something nice for somebody just because. I think it'll make the world a better place. And if somebody acts like a dick, then punch them in the mouth. So you got two avenues you can go there. All right? Officially, it's too dark for me to talk anymore. Until my next video. I know what's up. Everybody say cool. Peace. I'm out.